So today, it's a little bit of a different video. So a little bit of a different video today, but please bear with me because I think this is even more important than the normal tech content I would be publishing. Today is International Women's Day. So rather than a tech video, I thought I would acknowledge some of the Oracle women, the women in the Oracle community that I think inspire and guide us on every day and our working careers. First and foremost, obviously, I should say that on International Women's Day, the people that always come first are family, friends, partners, loved ones, etc. But none of you out there probably know those people, so I thought I'd broaden my reach out to the Oracle tech community and acknowledge some of the fine women we have in our uh, working lives. Now, before you jump out and flame me on Twitter when I publish this video, this is not meant to be a complete list, a definitive list. These are people that just sprung to mind and in terms of people that have been actively involved in what I've been doing with the community for the past few months or so, and just names that leapt into my head when I thought about who are some of the great women in our community. So don't, you know, it's not, I'm not deliberately omitting anyone. I'm just rattling off some names as they spring to mind. So please don't, don't shout me out on Twitter. These are just the women that inspire me, guide me, advise me, and hopefully you share that sentiment with these women in the community as well. Inside Oracle, there is Maria, Jenny, Jennifer, Tanya in the local Perth office here, Monica, all amazing contributors and helpful to me at all times. In the broader Oracle community, those outside Oracle Corporation, we've got Sabina, Heli, Flora, Jasmine, Jackie, Deborah, Mirella, Aishwarya, Chen, Caroline, another Monica, Rita, Edelweiss, the list goes on. But here's the thing. Most of those names, when I mention them, if you're out in the Oracle community and you've been any way involved in the Oracle community, most of those names will immediately bring a picture of someone to your head. You know these people just by their first name. And that's probably not a good thing. Wouldn't it be great is when we're acknowledging women and I say, isn't Deborah a fantastic member of the community? Someone says, well, which of the awesome 67 Debras are you referring to? So I think that's probably where all of us want to be heading toward, bolstering the numbers of women in our community such that we never have to refer to them just by first name. We have to give a complete history because there are so many amazing women in our community. But for me, this is just a thank you to those women that continue to inspire me, guide me and advise me and have made my working life so much more enjoyable than if they weren't in it. So please take a moment to find the women that are important in your working life today or outside your working life and take a moment to acknowledge them on this, this International Women's Day.